Yeah, this is the uh, one through nine that we saw on Friday night, Mike, and uh, Friday night where Stanford struggled offensively until sort of the middle back end of the game. And on his better starts, he could hold teams to one or two runs and one and two pitch. Breaking pitch hit in the air to right center. Tagged that one pretty good, and Tommy Troy hits it all the way to the gap. Not going to stop Eddie Park from scoring. They'll try to throw into third, but Tommy Troy slides in with a triple. Favor Stanford typically help them out. There's one. Hit to left center. A way back. Out of the park. Carter Graham gets off the schneid here on Sunday afternoon with a two-run homer with a double and an RBI. Hits one on the button. Base hit, line drive into center field. Two and two. Breaking pitch hit on the ground in the hole. Tough backhand for Cobb. Can't really get it out of his hand to throw it. Uh, just another tough one. That's more reminiscent of Friday. And the full count pitch. Low and inside and get the count back to even. But a fastball here in Guzman into left field towards the line. Nankill is in. Lou is in. And the Titans get two here in the first inning. Trail it three to two. Three hits in the inning for the Titans. That's the thing about these long at-bats, Mike. Eventually, the freshman will make a mistake, and you have to find a way to capitalize. Guzman waited, got the pitch he was looking for in the zone, tagged it out to shallow left field. Park had no play on it, but to go to second, can find ways to adjust. Bobo gets on a fastball and launches it to deep center, straight away center. Campbell watching it go out! Owen Cobb holding the runner at second. Curveball wave to right center field. This one is going back to the wall, and that'll be good for extra bases. Rounding third, coming on home is Naviak, and the Titans extend 6-3 on the double by Cade and Connor. Out there on the mound. First pitch to Malcolm Moore, high and deep to right field. Nankill on the move, and it's out of here. A solo shot for Malcolm Moore, his second home run of the weekend for the freshman earlier. I did and juxtaposition. JT Navax has a fly ball to right, shallow right field. That stays in fair territory. Just shy of the foul line, coming in and scoring is Bobo. Braden Montgomery made a mistake. He lost it in the sun. Jones looking for his second punch out. The 2-2. Oh, this one is drilled to right field. Dan Kill will wave it goodbye. A second home run of the game for Malcolm Moore, his third of the weekend. And the freshman cuts the deficit to one. Tailed off a bit. Tail oh, there's Caden Connor. Wow. Look at this one. Way gone. Eight six Titans. <laughs> Connor with the bomber. Now you're back. Titans pad the lead. Showing that they're dynamic. And Nate Nankill doesn't want to be through just yet. Ground ball base it through the left side. Three and one. Up high. Even they really haven't corrected it themselves. Gonna score a run here. No stopping Nankill. To yeah. be a home field advantage, but Goodwin Field when these types of opponents would show up. In the individual pitching columns for these pitchers. Another breaking ball. Goodwin Field all over it. On ball four. 10-6 the Titans. Bobo hit by a pitch. 11-6 the Titans. Cal Tuesday and Rice coming in next week. Slow breaking pitch. Got Lada. He makes the first and last out, but in between. It's five and five in the last ten. Now six and six, rather. Montgomery gets onto one of those breaking balls and hits it, lines it right over Zach Lou's head. Down the left field line, a fair ball into the corner, and Montgomery legs out a leadoff double here in the ninth inning. Offense has been more than potent enough to keep them in each game. Won the Friday game, has them out in front, but now all of a sudden you turn around, there's two guys on. So it could come down a little bit. Bowser into one, towards the scoreboard, over Wallace's head, and just like that, it's a two-run game. 11 to eight, Drew Bowser hits a home run and says, not so fast. The Titans still need three outs. This is it, you gotta get eight and nine. Try not to turn it over. Back at him and off his leg. It's gonna be a tough play for Lou. 
an impossible play for Lou. Just didn't get on the bounce over to him. Marone is out of the stretch in the 3-0 is up. Puts the tie and run on. Three balls in a strike. Outside. And the Titans didn't get the pitch in on time. Three and two. Slider. Ball four. He held his swing. And Stanford will live for one more batter. Walking in a run to make it 11 to 10. Yeah, because they want to they run around the bases after this game. In the air to left center, really tagged. Big time trouble. Montgomery has given Stanford the lead in the ninth inning. Could clear him. Relay to the plate. Doesn't get there. Stanford 13, the Titans 11. By five, rather, coming into the ninth. On the ground is Zach Lou. A little bit of a high throw, but does get him out of the inning. He bats here for JT Navy at bottom of the order. Oh. And got hit. That brings the tying run to the plate in the West. Yeah, back in the first sitting when I said I'm ready for a long day, I was being facetious. <laughs> Up the middle, Bowser gets it, gets it out of his glove to Cobb at second for a force play. One ball and two strikes. Stanford leading by two runs here in the ninth inning. Strike three called on Nankill as Montgomery dots a fastball to the outside and a strike. Lou turns on one and hammers it down the line. Zach Lou is tied the game. Three and zero on Colby Wallace, and he takes outside ball four and then on the line. Cole Herman into one. Might have got underneath it. Into left field for Rios. Now it's the center fielder. Eddie yeah. Park went from left to right. Okay. Into left, down the line. Bowser has another hit. That one's headed into the corner on a 2-2 pitch. Number two for Stanford, Drew Bowser. Leads there, 10th off with a double of baseball to see a leadoff double wasted. And back to the pitcher and Falks. Can he get the throw off to second? Not in time. 2-0 gets into one and rides it out to right center. And this is big trouble. And Ned Kill can't get there. Bowser and Rios are going to come around and score. And it's a triple for Owen Cobb. Breaking ball in the dirt. And it goes past Ehrman. Owen Cobb scores the 16th run for Stanford, the third here in the 10th. The ability to throw 95 this late in the game. A home run very early. Loud contact here into the gap in left center. Tommy Troy off and running. Guzman missed it in left center. And that allows Tommy Troy to score the fourth run of the inning, 17-13 Stanford. <laughs> 11 runs in the ninth and 10th innings for Stanford. In the batter's box. And that one hit him. Montgomery takes an easy hit by pitch right there. I regret my words. Malcolm Moore, line drive into right center. That'll score Carter Graham. Montgomery going to third. Nowhere to get it out. 18-13 Stanford with five in the tenth. And I've left that earlier talk in the first inning. You know, you talked about what what was it? You, you were ready for offensive. Two balls and two strikes. Runner first more goes. Connor throws it through Lada's glove at second base into left. That scores. Montgomery from third, and it's 19-13 Stanford on top with six here in the 10th. Titans had chances to throw out two base runners at second base and missed both opportunities. Otherwise, this inning is over. And yeah, not exactly sure the point of throwing over to first there with two, two count with two away, right? I mean, just focus on the at bat. You're trying to get out of the inning of your. The Titans look like they put it away 11-6 in the eighth inning. And that was about Hargis in this inning. He has a strikeout. He was the first out. He'll get on base on a hit by pitch. Folks sacrificing their Sunday to be with us. Couldn't be more. Another hard hit ball. It goes right through the middle. Scores more. 
And right behind him, Bowser. And Stanford hits Blackjack in the 10th inning with their eighth run of the inning, 21-13 Stanford. I said Baker's dozen when we were tied at 13 after nine, so I had to say Blackjack. I like that. Now so one nothing today. Also got shut out on Friday. Finally, the third out. Right, that's true. They, uh, there it is. Alleman strikes out. Montgomery blew the save, but gets the win.